Well, in the late 1980s, this former model portrayed the infamous Robert Chambers in the huge TV mo movie event, The Preppy Murder. And since then, he's been a fixture on the big and small screen in projects like Backdraft, Silver, Dirty Sexy Money, Gossip Girl, The Purge, Too Old to Die Young. And now we have a look at his newest film, Dakota. I ain't gonna sugarcoat it. It ain't good. Tried to tell your mom and dad when I gave them the farm for a wedding present, but you know. Mama don't want to hear it from me. It's a beautiful place, Grandpa. We can't lose it. It's where Daddy's buried. Well, that right there is a peek at Dakota starring our super special next guest, Long Island's very own, New York's very own actor and producer, Mr. William Baldwin! Thank you for having me. Thank you so much. Oh, thank you for joining us, sir. We've already bonded during the break. You already gave us your, your own trivia question that Ben mm -hmm. had to cheat to answer. And mm -hmm. he's, he's, he's now mad that he didn't use that line for his trivia question. <laughs> so we will consult you the next time. And okay. let's talk Dakota because we have a cute kid, a fallen soldier, and a dog. And I already told you, I was like, so many moments. Mm -hmm. I was like this. So tell people why this is going to be so, such a heart tugging. Yeah, it, yeah, it's a very, very super sweet, deep family film about um, a, a, a fallen soldier in in Afghanistan whose uh, service dog has returned to his widowed uh, his, his his widow, um, which is you know it, it was played beautifully by Abby Cornish, and mm -hmm. uh, I play her father. Um, we're trying to keep the farm. I'm getting a little bit too too old to to uh, hold onto the farm by myself, and uh, a local sort of rogue cop that is beautifully played by Patrick Muldoon oh. uh, is is uh, interfering with us. And this dog that b brings the family together, this shepherd Dakota, who was a service dog in the war, uh, is really the heart of the family that binds us together. That helps is the glue that helps keep the family together, but helps us to hold on to the family farm as well, which is a a beautiful piece, and if you can believe that, believe it, we shot that film in Puglia. We shot that in Bari in Italy. Oh, wow. Um, you know, a very beautiful and exotic yeah. location. You would think we shot that in the heartland in the Midwest somewhere, but we shot that, f that film uh, along the Adriatic in Puglia in Bari last year. And it's so beautiful, but I'm glad you mentioned Mr. Muldoon because I was so mad at him. I did not like him at all. Like, his character was just, like, the worst. I, I kept saying, worst person on the planet. Worst person. That's what I kept saying when I was watching it because I talked to the screen when I watched stuff, just in case. I was yeah, yelling. you're one of them. I am, I am one of them, trust me. Like, for <laughs> anything, for anything. But, but Mr. Baldwin, let me tell you, when they said, at first, they were like, oh. When she was like, Grandpa, I was like, who's she calling Grandpa? Not Mr. Baldwin. I was like, oh, more like Uncle. Hello. I, I was like, I know, what? I know. Believe me, when I did Gossip Girl and they told me I had to play, I'll never forget this. I was on the set of Gossip Girl and I said, and Blake Lively came up to me today, one day, and she said, you're never going to believe it. I got a, I got, I caught a call from my agent today to uh, do a movie with your brother Alec. I said, what kind of a movie is it? And I said, she said, to play his wife. And I said, what, in what world is it justified <laughs> that in a movie you're playing the wife of my brother Alec and I play your father on Gossip Girl? <laughs> Like, how is that fair? I played Blake Lively's dad, and now I'm going to grandfather's, please. OG, help me. <laughs> no, help you're me. good. You're fine. Yeah. You know how they have <laughs> zaddies? You, you'd be like a grand zaddy, so it's fine. OK. So it's not, like it's a... not that bad. Grand zaddy's not a thing, but your character's going to make it be a thing. But you know what I loved about, about this grandpa? It's like he's everything we love about, you know, grandparents. And I love the fact that he has, we know he loves golf, and he has, like, this thing about some huge thing he did back in the day. So what sport, mm. aside from what we know you for, like, are you good at golf as well in real life as this grandpa? I, I don't golf anymore um, because uh, I gave it up when I... I, I have a 22-year-old, and when the first no. of my three were born, I kind of gave it up because you can't get really good at golf unless you really commit yourself to it, and... I couldn't put the time in with three children. I have two children at USC, Stop. and I have a daughter on her way to NYU, and I got to keep going and doing all these movies. I got to, I got to grind, and I got to pay for all this, 
this college tuition. But that's the thing. I was telling everyone earlier, I was like, if you go to Netflix, he's on there. On Prime Video, he's on there. Now we're going to get to see you on the big screen and on digital, on demand, in, in, like, in this incredibly yeah. amazing movie that honors our servicemen and service animals, Dakota. Yeah. So, so yeah. We, we know you keep busy. Yeah, right before the pandemic, I was doing uh, I was doing the Purge series for USA, mm -hmm. and I was starring with Miles Teller on this show on Amazon called Too Old to Die Young, and I was producing a series for Netflix called um, Northern Rescue, a very, very cool mm -hmm. family drama that we shot up in the, the Muskoka region north of Toronto. That's kind of like the Hamptons of Toronto. That's their, like, weekend retreat. And uh, I was rolling, um, and then... Uh, one of my children became ill, and my wife and I had to take a, a, a year off from work to tend to this illness with one of our children, and that rolled right into the pandemic. So this year off with our children, and then obviously my wife is China Phillips. Uh -huh. She's one of the members of the band Wilson Phillips. Uh -huh. There's no live shows. There was no there was no work for us for three years with our son's illness, and then two years of the pandemic. So I'm very very excited that uh, we came to a grinding halt, but the engine is starting to rev not only in show business, but uh, the economy in general. So. All right, by the way, uh, say hello to uh, Miss China for us. I know you, you yeah. posted this lovely message on Mother's Day. You guys just know how to keep, like, the, the magic and the fire alive. And also, this was, and since I stalk you, I know you, you showed, you did a throwback of your pictures for, with your siblings way back in the day on Long Island. Yes. And I love that. So I, 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 so hopefully there when you, is, like I already is. told you, there you go. So I told you that yeah, whenever you're Batman back. Batman costumes on. See? That's me on the far left there. Ooh. In the Batman costume. Yeah, that was, we never had a camera. My dad was a teacher. He made like 20 grand. You know, we, there were six kids. We never had fancy things like cameras or cars that worked or anything. And that was sent to us via Facebook from, uh, from an old neighbor of ours who lived down the, oh, wow. the, the block from us in, in like, that was probably 19... Stephen was just born. That was like 1966, late 1966. Wow. So let me just, like I told you earlier, if you if you ever come back for a family reunion on Long Island, give us a call. We'll show up. I grew up on you guys, man. Are you kidding me? Not you, but, but I, I grew know. up on PIX. I grew up on PIX, yeah. Well, we, we love that you grew up on PIX, and now we're growing up watching so many of your movies, your shows, especially yeah. this movie, Dakota, which releases on video on demand and all digital platforms Friday, May 20th. Mr. Baldwin, such a pleasure. And Beautiful. I'm going to get in fights. I know you used to be a wrestler. I'm going to get in fights, and then you can you can come fight for me. I'll be, like, behind you I'll, while I'll you do the you. fighting. I'll teach you. A you couple, teach me? I'll teach you a couple gra grappling moves. All right. I'm on my way to Santa Barbara, yeah. though. I'm going to go buff up today. Does anyone have the answer to my trivia question? Can you say, <laughs> yep, Dixico? Ben, tell him. Yep. Forgetting Sarah Marshall. Thank you, Wikipedia. No, Google, actually. Google. Forgetting Thank you, Sarah Mr. Marshall. Baldwin. My favorite, my favorite character's name ever. My character's name in, in Forgetting Sarah Marshall was Detective Hunter Rush. Oh, yeah. <laughs> All right, Mr. Yeah. Mr. Baldwin, we're going to Hunter Rush out of here, and we will be right back. <laughs> Such a later. pleasure. Bye-bye. Thank you.